our class today. Let's get all warmed up, get ourselves going. Everybody touch those toes all the way together. See, sit. Good, make sure they're touching all the way. Perfect, and bow. All right, let's get loosened up, hands up like this. Wiggling those fingers around. Nice, feeling good. Wrist circles, here we go. Awesome. Chop it on up, do some chops. Good, good, good. Arm circles forward. Looking awesome. Arm circles backwards, going the other way. You got it. Cool. How about some good old skizzers? That's right. There's a C in there somewhere. Skizzers. Perfecto. Awesome. Twist it on up. Make sure you're twisting those toes. Twist them around like you're squishing bugs. Perfecto. Looking good, guys. Awesome hands on our hips. Bring it around town. Do some hip circles. Good all the way around. Perfect. Nice hands on your knees. Bend those knees, feet together. Knee circles. Bring it around. Tiny town. Awesome. Awesome. And then up on our tippy toes. And down. And up. And down. And then up and hold it up there. Hold it on one foot. Ooh. Hold it on the other foot. Ooh. Touch those toes all the way together again. Say sit. And bow. All right. Feeling loose up. Let's get into our exercise. The first exercise, 10 jumping jacks. Making A's and I's. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. All the way up to 10, sir. Count along with me like a team. 10 jumping jacks. Ready. Sit. Go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Perfecto. Open up those feet a little bit. Arms out in front like a zombie. Act like you're sitting down in a tiny, itty bitty chair. We go all the way down. Make sure you go as low as you can. And then all the way back up. You got to go all the way down, all the way up. Don't let your hands touch the ground. Ten squats with me. Ready, steady, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And ten, sir. Perfect. All right, moving on down the line. Mountain climbers. I'm going to turn sideways so you guys can see me. Put one foot in the front, one foot in the back. Hands down in the front. Switching those feet back ten times with the mountain climbers. Remember, two switches. For every one mountain climber, got to switch those feet twice. Ten mountain climbers, ready, sitting, go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, lay down flat on your back. Take hands, boom, right here underneath your butt. Yeah, that's right, I said it. But now bring your knees all up to your belly. You're going to stretch your legs all the way back out straight, but don't. Let those feet touch the floor. Try to get them as close to touching the floor without letting them touch 10 reverse curls. All the way in, all the way back out. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And 10, sir. Perfect. Two more left. Bend your knees. Put your hands right here like this. Lift your hips high in the sky. You gotta go all the way up high and all the way back down low, but keep those shoulders on the ground. Ten big straight bumps high in the sky. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir, and ten, sir. Perfect. That takes us to our last exercise. My personally is favorite. Everybody rolling on over, head facing the front. You want to put your hands down on the ground nice and strong. Stretch your legs all the way out to your tippy toes. Make your back flat like a table. You should be able to hold a glass of water up there. And then keep your back flat. Bend nothing but your elbows. Go as low as you can. And all the way back up without letting your belly or your legs touch the ground. 10 push ups. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. 
nine, sir, ten, sir. Perfecto, looking good, guys. Hope everybody's feeling strong now. Touch those toes all the way. Gotta say, sir. Good, make sure they're touching all the way. And bow. All right, kiddos, very good. Here we are for our grappling class today, our wrestling class. Everybody touch those toes all the way. Gotta say, sir. Good, make sure they're touching all the way. And bow. Per. Factor kiddos. All right, so today we're working on wrestling moves. I'm going to show you kind of a goofy looking move, but it's going to make a lot of sense here in a little bit. So go with me, follow along with me, and we'll make sure we, we do it right. So the move I'm going to show you today is a move called the shrimp. The shrimp we use for escaping. And I'm going to teach you how to escape later, but first got to practice the move by itself. So check it out. I'm going to lay down right here in front of you guys, just like this, flat on my back, like I'm getting ready to do a straight bump. But I'm not going to do a straight bump. I'm going to do the shrimp like we talked about. So I'm going to turn all the way on my side. Not just my head. Not just my legs. Nope. I turn my whole body onto my side. Awesome. Like I'm facing you guys. And now I'm going to push my butt backwards in a whole circle. All the way around backwards. All the way till I'm facing you guys again. Now here's what happens. Two mistakes everybody makes. The first one is they push their butt forward instead of backwards. They go this way. Is that backwards? No way, Jose, you gotta make sure you push them up backwards. The second mistake everybody makes is they forget to stay all the way on their side. They do one on their side, and then they start to fall onto the back, and then, am I on my side anymore? No way, flat on my back. So I gotta stay all the way on my side, and I gotta push my butt all the way back in a big circle, all the way till I'm facing all you kiddos again. So here we go, we're gonna make a big shrimp all the way around in a circle, ready, set, go. I go all the way back. Picking my butt up, staying on my side. Don't turn flat on your back. Twisting all the way around until I see all you guys again. Hey, there you go. Oh, perfect. Hi, how you doing? Awesome, cool. Now, well, we gotta do the other side. So this time I'm gonna turn away from you guys. All the way on to my other side. And then again, I gotta push my butt backwards, all the way around in a big circle. Staying on my side the whole time. So here we go, pushing that butt backwards all the way around. Ready, set, go. All the way around, stay on my side. A big circle. Hey, there you guys go. Okay, very good. Keep going. Don't stop yet. All the way around in a big circle. Perfect. Make sure two things: you push your butt backwards, and make sure that you stayed on your side. You think we can do it one more time? All right, let's do it one more time. Let's see if we can remember what we had to do. Remember the two things: stay on your side, push your butt backwards. I'm gonna face you guys again. Here we go. Big circle backwards, pushing it all the way back. Oh man, keep practicing, staying on my side, push my butt back. All right, there you guys are, so now that means we gotta get ready for the other side. So turn all the way on to your other side. Now I'm gonna push my butt backwards in a big circle all the way around so I'm facing away from you guys again. Ready, set, go. Push my butt backwards all the way, big circle. Keep going, don't stop yet. Oh, awesome. Okay, kiddo, so now, that was our shrimp in a circle. And we're gonna use that kind of crazy looking move for today's class. So here is the time if you have a partner, mom, dad, brother, sister, anybody that wants to be your teammate today, we're gonna to bring our teammates out and they're gonna help practice our wrestling moves. And as always, I got my awesome coach, Coach Baker. He's gonna help me out with the ninja moves today. So round number one is the easy round. Here's how it's gonna work, you ready? I'm gonna lay down on my back. Just like this. Hi kiddos. Coach Baker is gonna stand right over the top of me with his feet pinching my hips or my belt. Just like that. This is the easy round. So what I gotta do is I take both my hands, I put them all the way, both my hands on one leg and I grab the front of his leg. Now, I'm not allowed to let go of his leg until my feet get up to his belt. So watch what happens. I take my hands, I put them on my leg. Whatever leg I'm grabbing, I turn all the way on to that side. Whole body, remember, not just your head. Turn your whole body onto your side. And I use my hand staying on him to push my butt out from between his legs using that shrimp we just practiced in a circle. I push my butt once, twice, maybe even three times. But notice how looky here, my hands are still grabbing his leg. And then I pull my feet out, put him up on his belt, and now I can finally let go of his leg. Pretty amazing. Let's scooch back, let's watch it again on the other side. Here we go, I lay down my back. 
I take both my hands. I put them on over to here. Now they're on this side. Remember, they're not allowed to let go until your feet make it up to his belly. I turn all the way on my side, not just my head, everything. I turn all the way on my side. My hands stay on his leg and I wiggle my butt free from his legs. Once I get my butt free, I pull my legs out, put them up on his belly, just like that. That was pretty good. Now we're gonna do two facing the other side so you can see that, and then we'll switch. So I'm gonna face sideways now. My awesome coach is gonna do the same thing, standing over the top. Both my hands grab his leg, turn all the way to my side. I push my butt all the way back out. Pull my feet out, let go of my hands. And we'll scooch back and we'll do it one more time on the other side and then we'll let Coach Baker practice the same moves. Take both my hands, turn on my side, push my butt back. Oh, oh, there we go. Pull those feet all the way out. Perfect. All right, that's four for me. Now you guys get to watch Coach Baker do four more. Hopefully you guys are practicing this up at home. So Coach Baker's going to lay down forward first so you can see him do the move this way. I step over to his belt and I give him a little squeeze right there. Both of his hands go on the one leg. He turns all the way on that side, the whole body. Scooches his butt out. He might have to take a couple wiggles. Once he gets his butt free, he pulls his legs out. Man, that's looking pretty awesome. He's gonna scooch it on back. We're gonna try it on the other side, and then we'll face sideways. So here we go, he's over to there. Two hands on the leg, turns on his side. He's grabbing that leg like he's pushing on it. Wiggles all the way free. Nice, awesome. Now let's face sideways, and you guys can watch him do it two times this way too. Stand on the top, a little bit of a squeeze. Both hands, turns on his side, whole body's on his side, wiggles his butt out just like that shrimp in a circle, making sure his hands don't come off the leg. And then we scooch back and we do it one last time for his practice. Turns on his side, perfect. Man, look at that, Coach Baker's good. Okay, now remember kiddos, that was the easy round. So now, uh oh, now folks, becomes the hard round. So for the hard round, no bad guy's gonna ever stand over the top of you. <laughs> I got you. Now, no, that's not how it's gonna work, but this next one might be a little bit more serious. So I'm gonna lay down my back. So I'm facing all you kiddos again. This time, Coach Baker is gonna put his knees on the ground right by my belt. Whoa. We call this the mount. Now, right now, Coach Baker's winning. I'm certainly losing. So I gotta do my best to get out of here. So I do the exact same move, it's just a little bit harder. I take both my hands, I put them on his leg again. I turn all the way onto that side. It might take a little bit more effort to turn on your side. I turn all the way on my side, yeah. And I keep my hands on his leg and push my butt free from between his leg. <clears throat> Look at that, hands are still on his leg, holding him back. And then I pull my feet on this time and put him up right there on his belly. We'll scooch back and we'll do it again on the other side. He's on top of the mountain, his knees are on the ground. I take both my hands, put them over on this side. I turn all the way onto that side, all the way. It might take a little bit more effort to get there. And I wiggle my butt free. Put my feet up on his belly. Man, check that out. All right, how about sideways? Uh -oh. See, we got it going this way. Two more times, one more on each side. Both hands over on this leg. Turn all the way onto your side. Push your butt back using your arms and your legs. Pull your feet out, up on the belly. Notice how he's being a good teammate. He's staying on top, he's not just falling over. One more time, last one, best one. Let's see if I can do it in one big powerful shrimp. Let's see if I got it in me. Both hands on the leg, turn on my side, big shrimp. And the feet of one man, oh. look at that, I got it in me. All right, now Coach Baker, he's gonna do his four. And then we're gonna make it into a little competition on the last round. So let's watch Coach Baker. He's gonna do it facing you guys first. I stand over the top, but this time I'm not standing. This time I'm on my knees. Everybody say mount, mount. Perfect. He takes both those hands, same exact move, puts them on the leg, turns onto his side, wiggles his butt free. Look at him being a good partner. I'm just, I'm just falling over. Man, that guy's perfect. Then we scooch it back. We try it on the other side. Here we go. He's got this side over here. He turns on that side, wiggles his butt free. Oh, perfect feet are up on the belly. Man, that looks great. Now we turn sideways for you. I'm gonna be down on my knees again. Just like before, knees are on the floor, both hands are on the leg. Turns onto his side, feet up. 
I'll tell you what, Coach Baker's unstoppable. Okay. Last one, best one. Let's see how good he is. Turns onto his side, pushes it free. Man, okay. Now, check it out, kiddos. Now, that was the easy round. That was the hard round. Now we're gonna have a little fun race. Now, if you notice, I shrimped down and got my feet up on his belly, but I was still on the bottom, which means I'm still technically losing. Well, that's no good. I wanna work my way back up to my feet to where I can get on top. So we're gonna use our feet. We're gonna push our, par our, our partner over and we're gonna have a race to see who can get back up to their feet faster. So you gotta be quick, but you gotta be following the rules. So I'll show you guys how the race is gonna work first and then we'll have ourselves a couple of races next. So we start with the move we just did, the shrimp from out. I'm gonna do it sideways so you can watch along. Coach Baker's gonna be on top of the mountain. So we do the move we did. Now we're not doing any competition right now. We're practicing just the same as we were before. Put my hands on the leg. I shrimp all the way out. I get my feet up on his belly. Now, once I get my feet up on his belly, is he my friend? Yes, he's my friend. So I'm not gonna kick him. I'm just gonna push him away with my feet. And before he's allowed to stand up, his butt has to touch the ground. Once his butt touches the ground, we have to stand up and see who can make it up fastest. So I give him a big push, his butt touches the ground, and it's a race to see who can get back up first. That might have been a tie. Now, top guy, don't forget, you gotta let your booty touch the ground before you're allowed to stand up, no cheating. And here's what I mean by that. Watch Coach Baker be down on his back. Here's where everybody, everybody goes for the win too soon and they make it into a cheating game. So he puts his hands, he shrimps out, he gets his feet up on the belly, and when he gives me the push, I just do this. Did my butt touch the ground? No, I gotta make sure I let my butt touch so it's a fair race. So he's got his feet up on my belly, he gives me the big push once, my butt touch and now it's a race, I see him. Man, all right, let's have ourselves a little competition, see who can get back up to their feet the fastest. We'll do a couple of races, me on the bottom first, here we go. All right, I got a shrimp free now. He's going to let me shrimp free. Remember, this is just practice. I put a turn on my side, shrimp my butt back, put my feet up there, and now this is where the race begins. Don't forget, top guy, you got to let your butt touch the ground first. I give him a big push, and... Man, that guy's fast. All right, all right, now coach gets to do one of the races. All right, all right, I got to make sure I let my butt touch... And then we gotta get up like a lightning bolt right out of the sky. His shrimp's free. Boom. Feet are up on the belly. He gives me a big push. My butt touches like do the do. Man, he might have beat me that time. Alright, let's turn sideways so you can see the race for one more round. He's up on top. Alright, I got a shrimp free first. Hands are on the leg. Turning on my side, sliding out. Feet are on the belly. Give him that big push. And the foot is up top. I think I might have got yeah. one that one, but yeah. that leaves us one more race. Let's see if Coach Baker can beat me this time. I think he might have it. All right, I'm on top of the mount. He puts the hands on the leg. He shrimps all the way free. Feet up on the belly, give me a big push. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Man, awesome. All right, kiddos, awesome possum. So, hope you guys enjoy your practice. Remember, make sure you're always being a good teammate being honest, and doing the races the way they're supposed to be done. All right, kiddos, everybody, good class today. Stand it all the way up. Touch those toes all the way together. See, sir, sir. Make sure they're touching all the way. Coach Baker's got five. All right, guys, so today's class was a wrestling class, a grappling class, which means you had to be a good teammate with the person you're practicing with to be good at the moves. So today we're going to talk about teamwork. All right? It's very important when you're doing teamwork, you always want to treat your teammates the same way you would want to be treated. Now, that means you got to treat them the same way in terms of pushing and pulling and holding down each other, but it also means that you got to be paying attention and doing as best you can when it's your turn so that you can do the move as best you can, but you got to make sure you're paying attention and staying focused and doing as best you can when it's your partner's turn too. All right, so if I always practice my move as best I can, and then when it's my turn to be the teammate, if I'm like a dead fish and not doing what I'm supposed to be doing and just laying around, do you think they're gonna be able to practice the move the right way? No way. So you always gotta make sure when you're thinking about teamwork, you wanna do your best that you can do for yourself, 
But when it's your teammate's turn, you always got to try to do your best you can for your teammates so that way both people can get good at the same time. Remember, teamwork is thinking more, more than just about yourself. You got to think of everybody around you. That's how you be a good teammate. Always try your best for you and your friends. I'll see you next time, kiddos. Bye-bye.